It's the final week of the high school basketball regular season, meaning it's do or die time for playoff implications. Let's start tonight's action down in Shalot with the girls game. Hoggard trying to hold on to the second spot in the conference standings. The Trojans trying to play spoiler. Pick this one up in the second quarter. Vikings moving the ball around the perimeter in down low to Ellison Luthen, and she gets the baseline cut to Isis Trezvik. She will roll it home. This one would go back and forth much of the first half. A nice entry pass down low to Jamela Hill, and the freshman puts it up and in off the glass. Hoggard, though, would pick up the offensive execution in the third quarter. Cross-court pass into the hands of Julia Wilkerson. And you know the senior loves the left wing three ball, but the Trojans, well, they would not go down without a fight. It's Hill again this time, rolling it in from the right side. But tonight, it belonged to this young lady. It's Isis Trezvik. She gets it, takes the baseline, and gets the floater to go. She would hit the floor, not get the end one, but scores through the traffic. And it wasn't the cleanest of games on either side, but Hoggard pulls out the 43-25 win. Let's go on to the boys game. West Brunswick trying to stay in the top half of the standings for the conference tournament. Hoggard looking to clinch their share of the title, but early on, it's Hoggard pounding the ball inside. And it's Chris Gibbs playing some bully basketball. Scores with the right hand on the block, but it didn't take long for the Trojans to punch right back. This young man off the dribble is tough to guard. Jaden Parker to the basket, finishes with the left hand. Then, how about this, off the defensive rebound in transition. Viking spray ahead to Brady Rankin, a little sweet jelly for the bucket. And then this is just a heads up play here from the Vikings and also from the Trojans. Alex Young saves the basketball in right into the hands of his teammate Jaden Parker for the lay-in. But when you're on, you're on. And that was the case for Brady Rankin. He had a game high 23, including this one right here. And Hoggard claims at least a share of the MEC title with the 48-38 win down in Shalot.